Hey everyone, we're thinking about kicking off a new segment. We would love your feedback down below in the comments. We're thinking of going with a tip Tuesday. So every Tuesday coming out with another tip related to camping, camping lifestyle, RVs in general. For this week, one of the things I know that I ran into when I first got to camping was it just seemed overwhelming, all the stuff you had to remember, especially when you got a big old fifth wheel like this in the background. But actually it's pretty simple and my wife and I kind of devised a checklist of things that we do before we ever leave the house. Thought I would go over those things with you guys today. I think I came up with 10. Counting's not my strong suit, but I think I came up with 10. So let's just kick this off there in no particular order, okay? Number one, make sure that you have all your cords and adapters, okay? So in our camper, we have a pass-through storage like this where we keep our actual power cord for the camper. But when you go to different campgrounds, you're gonna run into situations where you have to have adapters, maybe you have to have extension cords, those type of things. You'll wanna make sure you have all of those ready to rock and roll. A lot of times, we'll have our refrigerator on, which is another tip I'll get to in a minute, but we'll have our refrigerator on so our power cord will still be plugged in. But it's good to check all those other cords and make sure you have them. Same thing goes with your sewage hose. Make sure you've got all your sewage hose and your sewage hose adapters. Uh, that also goes in hand with um, your surge protectors. So make sure you got your surge protectors, all your power cords, your adapter, and all your sewage hose stuff. Okay, which brings me to number two, and I kind of mentioned it in the first one, your refrigerator. If you're going on a weekend camping trip and you've got cold groceries that you want to take, you can do the cooler option. We do that often too. You just throw everything in a cooler, put it in the bed of the truck or put it in the camper, turn your refrigerator on when you get there. But you can also go ahead and get your refrigerator cold at least the day before. So then when you pack all your groceries in here and you're in transit to your trip, you've got cold groceries in here when you get to your uh, camping spot. Tip three, and probably should have been tip one, to be honest with you, is tire pressure. Make sure your tire pressure is good, not only on your camper itself, but your tow vehicle. We bought, this sounds like a marketing ploy, I promise it's not, it's just for peace of mind. We bought a tire pressure monitoring system, and it works on all four of our camper tires, and then we went ahead and upgraded and bought the additional ones for our truck. Our truck does tell us our tire pressure, but it's really nice on that tire pressure monitoring system just to see everything in one place. Very, very important because you don't want to set off on your adventure and get part of the way there. You blow a tire, you tear the rim off of, or the uh, fender off of your camper, or God forbid you wreck. So a biggie probably should have been number one, check your tire pressure. Number four on our list in no particular order, except I did say that your tire should have been number one. The rest of them, no particular order check your lights. This is your running lights, your brake lights, your turn signal lights. And again, that applies to your tow vehicle as well as your camper. You want to make sure all your lights are in good working order and address that before you ever leave. Number five, make sure your stuff is strapped down. <laughs> so you see, it's nice to decorate your camper and make it look pretty. My wife has so many knickknacks for our camper and they do make it feel more homely. You know, you've got your potted plants or your fake potted plants. As you see, we've got things all over in here. Make sure those are stowed away properly. There's tons of DIY things that you can do to strap those down. Uh, but if nothing else, just make sure they're all put away in drawers and stuff. And if this had like a freestanding dinette, make sure that you got your chair strapped down. I will say that I have forgotten the chair strap down thing multiple times and the chairs have been fine, but it's better safe than sorry. So make sure all your stuff's strapped down and that applies to your uh, under storage as well. Make sure if you've got things loose in there, you've got those kind of contained at least somewhat. Number six, know your route. This is, this is really important. There are a ton of free apps out there that will help tell you uh, height clearance and stuff. Garmin and a lot of other manufacturers make GPS. My wife and I use Allstay for gas stations that are easy to get in and out of. I made the mistake early on once of not really planning my route. I got too far down, got really low on gas, got into a gas station that honestly I didn't think we were gonna get out of. Made for a good laugh for my wife, but hey, that extra prep, we go to Gulf Shores every year, we have that dialed in. Like I know every gas station I'm stopping at, I know every road that's good. Um, that just helps a lot, so know your route. Okay, so number seven, 
kind of goes in tandem with what I was talking about with the refrigerator, and that's just do a thorough appliance check. So you're gonna wanna make sure your water heater works, check your, uh, your refrigerator, check your fireplace, your TV, check all those appliances. It's much easier to diagnose an issue and fix an issue while you're here. It could be a loose wire, who knows? Check all those things before you leave. Better to have it addressed here than when you're at the campground and far away from home and maybe not near your, uh, your service center. Number eight is check your seals and check your slides. And this one applies to not only when you leave for your trip, actually most of these apply when you leave for your trip as well coming home from your trip. But a good thing to check is to make sure that your slide seals aren't bent in or in some kind of funky position to where they're not gonna seal up correctly and they're gonna let moisture in. Maybe it's raining when you're driving home or you're driving there. But also if you've had your slides out at the campground or maybe even at your house, you wanna make sure that you don't have any debris up there on the top of the slide to where when you roll that in, you can damage the slide, you can damage the seal, who knows? So it's a good idea if you've got the ladder on the back, hop up on the roof, check your seals and stuff on the roof, make sure everything's good, clean, maintained up there, and then make sure you've got the tops of your slides cleaned off. Another good one I don't always do, but I should, is check your water system. So if you are at your house or you are at the campground, you're getting ready to leave for your trip or whatever, go ahead and run some water through your lines, make sure everything's working correctly, you don't have any leaks underneath, everything's tip top shape. That's a, another good one to check and an additional thing you want to make sure from like point one having packed is make sure you have your water pressure valve with you. That way, not only are you protected surge wise with the electric, but you also want to monitor your water pressure at campground. Sometimes you'll run into situations where the water pressure is too low. You got to turn that up, but then other times the water pressure is too high and you actually have to dial that down. So another good one, just make sure your water system is good. At number 10, again, other than the one, no particular order, make sure you're packed. Uh, one of the great things when my wife and I first started into camping, we had a pop-up. We had to bring everything from the house, put it in our tow vehicle, um, and then unload it when we get to the campground, put it back in the tow vehicle on the way home, you, you get the drift. One of the great things about having a travel trailer or a fifth wheel or even a motor home is the fact that you can actually store stuff here. One of the things we learned after our first year of camping was we actually have a second set of basically everything clothing wise we just keep in the camper so we don't even have to think about did we pack all of our clothes basically we grab the dogs we grab our food we're good to go if that's not what you do just make sure you have everything packed you don't want to get there and be missing your swimming trunks or god only knows what else there's always tons of storage in these just a great idea to do a quick walkthrough most of the time my wife reminds me uh, if we bought something new and I got to add it, but it's just a good idea to walk through and make sure you have everything packed. Okay guys, so like I said, this is Tip Tuesday or maybe Tip Tuesday. Leave a comment down below. Let us know one, if you thought this was helpful. Two, what I missed or what I messed up, because I would love to hear if you guys have additional tips. And three, if this is something you think we should continue from now on out. It's always a pleasure seeing you guys and talking to you. Happy camping and talk to you soon. Thank you.